Good day everyone. I'm online today as usual. Beautiful day out. It's probably about uh, minus 12. No mitts. It's beautiful out. I'd like to, uh, like to say thanks to uh, my family and, and friends. Uh, most importantly uh, my son. Uh, he does all the all the bait runs for me for these uh, for these coyotes and wolves. Without him I wouldn't be hooking up to anything because he does all my work for me, do my bait runs. I work uh, work long shifts, and uh, it's tough to do when you trap and and got to do bait runs and check traps. It's 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 nonstop. So again, thanks to uh, to my son, uh, my wife uh, for putting up with me, and uh, some of my friends. Uh, <clears throat> I had some uh, mechanical breakdowns. Uh, at the end of deer season and it kind of could have put a little damper in uh, into baiting those wolves and coyotes so but I ended up managing to get a couple baits out and stuff and so uh, we got a treat for you we got uh, I ended up hooking up to a wolf uh, at the end of deer season in a foothold so that was a nice treat for me to pick up and, uh, and then I ended up catching another wolf uh, on New Year's Eve so we'll show you that on another episode so here's the here's a short uh, short video of my uh, my foothold catch well see the holes going through here I got my camera right here and I got a little st little stump here uh, I got a, a fisher and a lynx running around here and look what I caught. I ended up catching a, a Martin. Um, it is what it is. Got him in the foothold here, so. <sighs> My hopes was catching the lynx, but uh, <laughs> Martin will do. Gee whiz, man. <clears throat> it's gonna be interesting. It's, it's gonna be interesting to see uh, <laughs> when I caught this. Uh, I set this, I set this up yesterday about I don't know 11 uh, 10 10 30 11 this uh, this foothold up um, and it'd be interesting to see when I caught him and see when the wolves went through so uh, my guess is uh, this thing was in the trap before the wolves came because the wolves took uh, a little sweep around you can see they were looking at it and then they kept on walking so so fortunate I had that one step in my foothold and it never went off. Um, <clears throat> I got I got some re rethinking here to do and or re, maybe do some purchasing some coral traps. I don't think I know those things go off. Um, they don't really <clears throat> their, their springs are pretty good, so they do freeze. Don't get me wrong, they do freeze, but not like uh, these MB 750s. It's just uh, like they're just weak. I don't know what what the problem is, but maybe I could modify them somehow. But anyways. Off back to the sh to the shack to the camp and uh, we'll see what's cooking. Brats, and baked potatoes. That's what's for supper. With some nice melted cheese. Mm. Yeah. Look at that. We got hooked up. We got a wolf. You, buddy, hind catch. Unbelievable. I left camp for two days to fuel up, get some grub. And we got a timber wolf. Hell yeah, my set worked. Young dog. Man, am I pumped, man. Probably about a 60 pound dog. Heck yeah, baby. We did it. First wolf of the season, yeah. I'm gonna dispatch this boy and uh, keep on uh, pushing along. Yeah, buddy.